good health is indeed akin to possessing wealth, enabling individuals to lead active and productive lives. However, human health faces challenges, one of which is malaria. Malaria, with its familiar symptoms like headache and fever, remains a significant global health concern despite significant progress in control efforts over the past two decades. Recent years have seen a resurgence in cases and death, with the majority in sub-Saharan Africa. World Malaria Day, observed annually on the 25th of April, sheds light on this ongoing battle as the fight against malaria remains a regular item on the UN's General Assembly agenda with a yearly adoption of a resolution on consolidating gains and accelerating efforts to control and eliminate it across the world by 2030. This year's theme, Gender, Equity and Human Rights, underscores the unequal impact of women and girls who often bear the burden of care for those afflicted. Additionally, pregnant women are faced with heightened risk and communities in malaria endemic areas struggle with limited healthcare access and climate-related challenges. According to the World Health Organization World Malaria Report, in 2022, at least 12.7 million pregnancies in Africa region were exposed to malaria infection. Similarly, UNICEF reported that there were 249 million malaria cases globally, which led to 608,000 deaths in total. Of these deaths, 76% were children under 5 years of age. Surprisingly, even in cases where another is affected by the parasite, Women are often burdened by the duty of staying home to care for family who suffer from malaria, causing them to miss out on work and school, which furthers the educational and financial effect gap between genders. The onset of malaria symptoms such as sweating, fever, headache, fatigue, muscle aches, and vomiting if untreated can become severe and result in unserious complications including kidney failure, severe anemia, coma, seizures, and potential death, underscoring the importance of prompt diagnosis and treatment. Prevention, they say, is better than cure. Hence, preventive measures should be prioritized with aids such as insect repellents, sleeping under mosquito nets, and taking anti-malaria medication, especially in high-risk areas. Environmental cleanliness also plays a pivotal role in reducing mosquito breathing site and human-mosquito contact. Similarly, community engagement and education are vital for raising awareness and fostering collective effort against malaria. Eradicating malaria will not only transform healthcare, but also improve the lives and prospects of women and girls, paving the way for a healthier and more equitable future. Israel, Adiyemi, Souk News.